I'm Karin Lasselit. I'm a PhD candidate at the Norwegian University of Science and Technology. I'm attached to the Industrial Ecology Programme uh, here. And my PhD is part of the the Mission Neighborhood uh, Center played by the Research Council of Norway. So what happens uh, with the Mission Neighborhoods is that um, they use a very low energy use as standards, such as passive house standards, to build the building. The side effect of that is that when you reduce uh, the, the energy use in the operational phase, then the focus shifts from the operational to the construction phase. So what you wanted to do is to better understand what is happening in the construction phase of those zero emission neighborhoods. In order to do so, we had a case study, which is uh, Idalir, also part of this center, uh, located in uh, Norway. So uh, as an industrial ecologist, I have different tools available to me in my basket. We have combined uh, dynamic material flow analysis with uh, LCA. So what we do in the MFA part, so we want to build our stock of building. It's a school, a kindergarten and a residential part. We want to construct it and the 11 first years. And then also we wanted to maintain it um, over the years. Then we're going to use LCA to associate uh, material use, but also uh, emission intensity to those uh, material flows. By combining uh, the two, uh, we have the storyline of the material, but also of the emission happening at uh, Italier over time. So what you can see in the cumulative uh, results is that you have a very uh, high peak of construction happening in the 11 first years. So in other words, half of the missions have happened, happened already uh, when you have constructed your neighborhoods. So we really want to uh, decrease this peak of emissions, but also to do something over time to decrease the rest of the emission. In order to do so, we have used uh, material efficiency strategies. With material efficiency, we mean we want to provide the same service, which is to build and maintain easily over time, but we want to reduce the material use or the associate uh, emission. So the first one is a more intensive use. The second is a lifetime extension, and the third is a improving yield in production. Last but not least, we have combined so those strategies. So let me show you the first results for the more intensive use. If you apply this uh, first strategy, in practice, it means that you lower uh, the um, flow area per drain or per person. So what you can see here is that you reduce uh, the peak of construction. But because you just take measure in the construction phase, you don't see any further decrease. What about if we apply another strategy, which is lifetime extension? If we increase the material lifetime, such as it is the case in scenario two, we can see the first effect when the first renovation run happens, about around 2060. And then if we increase the lifetime of the building from 60 to 100 years, we can see the effect not when the first renovation happened, but at the end of the neighborhood, when construction are starting to go out of the neighborhood. So the two of them have a similar effect of 7 and 11%. The third strategy is if we improve the yield in production. So in scenario six, um, what we do is that we don't uh, change the type of material, but we are very careful of the production route of those materials. But to best uh, mitigate climate change, we have to combine those strategies. And this is what we did in scenario seven and eight. In the last scenario, scenario eight, we further combined the two first strategies with uh, improve in yield in production of the material. So you can see both the peak of construction being decreased, the peak of the um, first renovation being decreased, in addition to um, decrease of emission because of the improve in the production route of the materials. So my take home message uh, would be 
that our material efficiency scenarios have shown a potential to up to 44% reduction of greenhouse gas emission. This, if you take um, measure at different points in time. In the planning stages, threshold values of low area per inhabitants can be applied. Materials with low greenhouse gas emission intensity should be preferred and the building should be designed in a way that allows for reuse of elements. Over time, good maintenance of the buildings will postpone renovation needs and extend the building lifetime. Thank you.